So, I think for this video we're going to do something a little different and uh, show you how we built a couple jumps in chasing the storm. But you better make sure you guys are ready to shovel and to make sure you have your flathead and your rake or you ain't getting shit built. Here we are, how to. This is what we're doing, building the poison oak jump. This jump right here has been there for a little bit, Vinny and them shoveled it, but most of the time when we go out to go pack, when you go out to go make a jump, you need to have a solid crew with you, dudes that actually want to shovel and know what they're doing. And for myself and a majority of us, I think we all like to use a flathead shovel versus a spadehead shovel, just because you move more dirt with it, and when you pack it, it packs it flat, which, as you can see, we all have flathead shovels and we all have our own shovels. We're pretty picky about having our own shovels, like the weight of it and how we carve them and stuff like that. And you always gotta have a good rake with you to rake out the lines, rake out the rocks. And for us, like this day right here was pretty good. It was really wet. So we had to keep moving a lot of the sand from the wash because that's where a lot of the water absorbed. So we kept taking dirt from the sides of the hill and moving it over to the wash to fill it in and pack it in. You always wanna have a good solid packed in jump because the the more packed in it is, the longer you're going to get to ride it before you have to shovel it again. And I hate riding really soft jumps because it gets really rutted really fast. And same thing with the landings. You always want to go across, make sure there's no rocks, make sure there's no tree stumps, pack it in really freaking good just because you don't want to land in a soft spot. And at the end of the day, you get a pretty epic looking jump when you take time and you pack it all in and you do it right the first time. And then right here, this is a jump we actually call, we call poison oak. This is the running of it. There's a lot of poison oak to the side. He's over there shoveling it. But we saw this little little ditch that crossed and we're like, oh, we could jump across this ditch into the sand wash, into the jump. And whenever we're out looking for jumps, we always try to make them flow together. And it, I think it's fun when you can get a line of jumps going together. It just looks good on film. And, and like I said, you have to have a solid group of dudes that want to want to shovel with you and want to dig. And all the no-namers are always out there in the summertime. We always go out there in the wintertime when it's nice and cool and shovel and just tidy up the jumps. And right here, me and Parsons are looking at this line up on top of the hill. We're like, yeah, we could jump all three of these things and it'd look bitching on film. So. So what we ended up doing, you know, we shoveled the lip, we shoveled the landing, went to the little tombstone that crosses, and then now we're up here on top of the hill. And this dirt up here on top of the hill is really soft, so we had to keep shoveling it in there, making sure you get a good pile, make sure it's lined up straight, first of all, because it sucks when you shovel something and it's not lined up. As you can see, this dirt's really soft, so we had to keep packing it, and then Potter comes up and test jumps it for us, and you can tell it's still really soft, so all you can really do is just pile on dirt and pack until it's good, and then once you're done and you know it's good, then you shave it. And then test jumping a couple times too, just before you go airing everything. Here we go, good old Palm Avenue. No one's ridden this spot in at least 13, 14 years. So for us, it was fun to go out there and try to find somewhere to park and get into the place because there was gates everywhere. And once we finally got there and seen the jumper, like, okay, cool, get rid of the shovel because this thing was beat, just so haggard from the rain and just the years of no one jumping it. And I think the main thing when you go out to build a cliff jump is that you always got to check all the surroundings. They got to make sure you have a good run in. Like here, we are picking rocks because there's so many rocks down below from falling off the cliff. And, you just got to go and check everything out and scope and make sure where you're going to build the jump, where you're going to go land, you know, what's on the landing, is there anything you have to shovel to keep away from, and if you're going to go left, if you're going to go right, and I think for us, we, we had a pretty solid day because we made this one lip go two ways, and it was pretty fun. It was one of the funnest days I've ever had out there, and I definitely look forward to going out there and digging again, but I think when you start doing a clip jump, you need to start with the very top. You work top to bottom because all the dirt you shave falls down to the bottom. 
And if you start on the bottom, you're just giving yourself double the work. So definitely when you build a cliff, I'd say start at the top. And for myself, I like to take a lot of wet dirt from the side and pack it into the main line and like mix it in so it stays. And right here, this dirt right here is like a little tricky. Like some of it was dry underneath and like that the, all around the sides of us was wet. So we were taking the wet stuff and packing it over the dry stuff, but mixing it. That's the biggest thing is finding the good dirt. And I, I think the main thing to building a good jump is always in the belly. And as you can see right here, we're shoveling the belly. Like we, we probably shoveled on this belly. We shoveled on this actual jump for a good four or five hours. We had to because the sun was in our way and we couldn't even jump it. So I, I definitely think the belly and the tip of the lip is the most important of the jump just because that's where you get all your transition and all your pop and your lip from. And when you're trying to lean, it, it sucks going up the lip when it's all, all bumpy and rocky. So this day right here was, to say the least, pretty epic. We had, we had a good crew shoveling and everyone wanted to shovel and no one bitched and complained. And you always got to have crews like that. So, And then uh, all the dirt you dig from the top and the belly gets down to the bottom and it's really soft. So you have to make sure you get all the soft stuff out again, once again, so it's not rutting. And I would say that's that's one of the more important things is having a smooth smooth run run and then, and then testing the jump really good and making sure it's good before you just go send this thing to nowhere. Cause you don't ever want to hit a jump just wide open and going for the big hug just to be the cool dude in the beginning of the day. Always take your time with it and everyone always has to test it. Got it, Dawes? Got it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs>